Welcome to the topic on Basic Editing Commands in AutoCAD. In this tutorial, you will learn Erase Command, Trim and Extend Commands, Offset Command, Fillet and Chamfer Commands. Before exploring the topic, I request all of you to subscribe to my YouTube channel SabirCAD if you haven't subscribed already and hit the bell icon to get instant updates on my future video uploads. Thank you. Editing commands are basically used to modify existing objects. You can see a collection of most frequently used editing commands in the modify panel. When you click on this arrow, you can access more editing commands. I'll draw a line using the line command and I'll draw a circle using the center radius option of circle command. When you click on the erase command, it'll ask you to select the objects. We can make use of any of the standard object selection methods discussed in the previous videos to select objects. So, I'll select these two objects using a crossing window. The appearance of these two objects got changed. When you give an enter, the objects will get erased. So, erase command is basically used to erase or delete entire objects. Next, I'll talk about trim and extend commands. I'll draw a line with the ortho mode on. I'll copy this line number of times. So, I'll click on the copy command and I'll select this line. I'll choose this point as the base point by picking then I'll choose number of second points. Now I have created multiple copies. Next, I'll draw an arc using three point method. So I'll click on arc, three point, then one, two and three. And I've picked three points. Next, I want to remove portions of lines which are extended beyond this arc. For that, we can make use of the trim command. We will get trim in the modify panel. So I'll click on trim. Now it is asking you to select the cutting edges. You can see select cutting edge option. Cutting edge is nothing but an edge that can be used as a cutter. In fact, if you can use this arc as a cutting edge or as a cutter, you will be able to easily remove the portion of lines which are extended beyond this arc. So I'll select this arc as the cutting edge. Once you select the cutting edge, we can just give an enter. Then it'll ask you to select the object to trim. You can choose those objects either by picking individually like this, but if you have too many objects, you can make use of crossing window or fence option given here. I'll use a crossing window to select all these objects in one go. The trim command always needs a cutting edge or an object that can be used as a cutter. I'll undo this and I'll show you another method to perform trim. When you're asked to select the cutting edges, you don't have to select the cutting edges, but instead you can make use of the select all option. So when you give an enter, this particular option will get executed, which means that all the objects including the actual cutting edge will be treated as a cutting edge. Now you can select the object to trim. Hence you can save one step. Now I'm going to move this cutting edge rightward. So I'll click on the move command and I'll select this object. I'll choose this as a base point and I'll move it rightward to define a second point. I'll activate the ortho mode and make a pick here. In the trim command, there is another option which will let you perform extension. I'll give trim command. When I'm asked to select the cutting edges, I'll give an enter and hold down the shift key when you take the cursor over here. Then you will see a preview of the extension of that line. You can use any of the standard object selection methods to perform extension. Hence, when you hold down the shift key when you select objects, trim command can be used to perform extension. Alternatively, you can use extend command to get the same result. Since the extend option is already a part of trim command, you better stick to that method. Next, we will see the offset command. Offset command in AutoCAD is used to create parallel objects. I'll draw a line from this point. I'll turn the ortho off to this point. I'll draw an arc using three point method, one, two, and three. I'll also draw a circle using center radius method. I'll give offset command. When you are asked to give the offset distance, I'll give a value say 120. It will ask you to select the object to offset and the side to offset. When you are asked to specify a point on the desired side, you can just pick a point. Again, you are back to select object to offset prompt. Again, I have selected the same object. Now it will ask you to select a point on the desired side. I'll pick a point here. This time, I'm going to select this as the object to offset and this as a side. Then object to offset and side to offset. Hence, select object to offset and side to offset will be a recurring prompt. But if you want to give a different offset distance, you have to exit the offset command by giving an enter. Then I'll give one more enter to repeat the offset command. When you enter offset command, it'll ask you for an offset distance. Then I'll give a different value, let it be 200. 
Then it will ask you to select the object offset and site offset. Object offset and the site offset. Likewise, whenever you want to change the offset distance, you have to enter the offset command and give a new value. When the dynamic input is on, you can provide this distance interactively. I'll activate the dynamic input. This time, I'll give offset command by typing the letter O at the command prompt. Present offset distance is 200. I'll give an enter. I'll select this object to offset. When I take the cursor onto the desired side, the software will display the distance. Here, if I want, I can give a different value. I'll give 300 instead. Give an enter and you can see that you have interactively changed the distance. Now I'll give an enter to go out of the offset command. Now let's see options in this command. In offset we have options like erase layer through etc. We will see more about layers later on an exclusive tutorial. Erase option will let you erase the original object. When you click on erase it will ask you whether you want to erase the source object. I'll give yes. I'll retain the present offset distance by giving an enter. Select object to offset and when you pick a point on the desired side the original object will get erased. Through option will let you perform an offset through a particular point. For example, I'll draw a rectangle here. Now, I want to create a line which is parallel to this line and it should pass through this particular point. And I don't know this distance. In that case, I can give offset and I'll go to through option. It will ask you to select the object to offset and it will ask you to select the through point. When you pick a point here, you will get exact offset passing through this point. The original object got erased because the erase option in the offset command was active. Next, I'll teach you the fillet and chamfer commands. The fillet is used to connect two objects using a smooth tangent arc while the chamfer command is used to connect these objects using an inclined line. I'll make a rectangle using the rectangle command. Fillet is available in the modify panel. So click on fillet. Then this command will ask you to give a radius. So I'll click on radius. Let the radius be 100 units. Then it will ask you to select the first object to fill it and the second object to fill it. Now you can see a little preview of how this is actually going to come. Just make a pick there. Now you have got a fillet. I'll repeat the fillet. Now I'll give an enter. I'll go to radius. This time I'll give a higher value. Let it be say 300. This is a first object and this is a second object. Now let's see chamfer. Chamfer works in a similar way. So I'll take chamfer from the modify panel. It will ask you for a distance. I'll give a chamfer distance of 150. Now I am asked to give the second chamfer distance. I'll give the same value. Then it will ask you to select the first line and the second line. This inclined line is the chamfer. I'll go to chamfer again and I'll click on distance. This time I'll give a distance of 300 units. I'll give the second chamfer distance as 150. When I'm asked to pick the first line, I'll pick here and this is the second line. Now you can see that the first chamfer distance is applied to the first selected object and the second chamfer distance is applied to the second selected object. Just make a click and this is how the chamfer will appear. Now let's make few more lines. I'll create a line like this and one more line. Then I'll create another line here. Now I want to make these two lines intersect at a point using the fillet command. I'll click on fillet then radius. When I'm asked to specify the radius, I'll give the value 0. This is the first line and the second line. Now, I'll perform fillet on this particular corner with a different radius. Now, when you go to fillet command and click on radius, you will see the radius as 0 because there is a previously given radius. I'll change the value to 300 because I want to fillet this corner with that value. Now, I want to make these two lines again intersect at a point. You can do that without altering the value of the radius. For that what I'll do is, I'll hold down the shift key of the keyboard while selecting the first and the second objects. And you will get the same result. In this case, you haven't changed the radius value. You can try out the same procedure in chamfer command. Next, I'll show you the trim option in the fillet command. I'll draw a line from here to here. And make sure that your ortho mode is on. Then I'll draw one more line from here to here. Then I'll go to fillet command. And I'll click on radius option. This time I'm going to specify the radius by picking two points. I'll pick one point here and the second one here. Now you can see that the distance between these two points will be taken as a radius. Then it'll ask you to select the first object and the second object. In the preview, you can see the existing lines as well as the fillet arc. Now when you make a click here, the extra portions of the existing line will get automatically trimmed. But if you don't want this trim to take place, 
I'll just undo this filleting. Then I'll go to fillet again. I'll go to radius. I'll specify two points like this. Then I'll go to trim option. Then I'll activate no trim. Then you select the first object and the second object. Now here you can see that AutoCAD won't trim the extra portions of these lines. So that's all about the trim option. The trim option is available in chamfer command as well. In this tutorial we have learned erase command, trim and extend commands, offset command, fillet and chamfer commands. In the next tutorial we will continue with the same topic of basic editing commands in AutoCAD. Please click on the link provided at the description section of this video to join the WhatsApp group SabirCAD. You know that AutoCAD software has got wide range of applications in the area of engineering, architecture, product design, 3D printing, etc. And this WhatsApp group is a worldwide AutoCAD user group. You can support each other and you can get your queries answered. I can also help you to resolve your queries and enrich your knowledge in CAD. So do join this group by clicking on the link provided at the comment box. I once again request you to subscribe to my YouTube channel SabirCAD where CAD training is made easy. Also don't forget to visit sabircad.teachable.com wherein AutoCAD 2D 3D is taught from basic to advanced project based. You can also learn 3D visualization using AutoCAD 3D, 3ds Max and Adobe Photoshop in this website. Once you enroll the courses you will get lifetime account means there is no deadline or time limit to complete the courses. You will also get all future updations of lessons for free. You can get all your queries answered through WhatsApp chat and mail.